What's up guys, my name is Adam Fazita and I'm one of the wine drinkers here at Catoctin Breeze. I'm hanging out in between our nine-year-old Cabernet Franc vines. Uh, right now they're going through Parisian, which is when the green grapes start to turn purple, uh, so that's a sign that they're starting to ripen. This year has been great so far, total opposite from last year, really similar to 2017. Anyways, putting all the vineyard talk aside, I'm very excited to share with you all our September Catoctin Crew release. We have our 2016 Symphony Chardonnay. We've got our 2017 Oratorio Barbera. And finally, we have our 2017 Petit Verdot. So first up is our 2016 Symphony Chardonnay. So a little bit about this wine before we try it is uh, we waited quite a few years to release it to you all. It was aged in oak barrels, which means it could afford some aging. And uh, we wanted it to age for some of those oaky flavors to kind of subside and integrate with the wine. On the nose, I immediately smell some vanilla, and that's exactly what I would expect out of an oak Chardonnay. Vanilla aromas and vanilla flavors come from, from oak aging. I really love the Chardonnay. It's got so much depth. Since it was aged in oak and went through malolactic fermentation, it's got some of those vanilla characteristics, but also this really pleasant kind of butterscotch note, uh, but it's, it's kind of tamed down by the acidity. So overall, all these flavors are playing so well together. Uh, it's a really well-balanced Chardonnay. I wouldn't qualify it as the oaky, buttery Chardonnay, nor would I say it's a stainless steel crisp. It's a perfect in-between. There's still is a ton of vibrancy in this Chardonnay. I'm glad we held on to it for this long and I think you guys would be really happy with it. I would pair this with uh, Alfredo pasta for example. Uh, something, some creamy white sauce I think would work great with this. Alright, next up we have our 2017 Oratorio Barbera. Hmm. First thing I noticed right away is this real kind of tawny brick color. On the nose, I smell some some uh, some smokiness, cherries. I always like smelling the wines beforehand because they kind of help give you a, uh, a sneak peek at what to expect in the palate. But with this wine, I get lots of uh, lots of tobacco and smoke and cassis. Uh, I love saying the word cassis, it's a fancy name for uh, black currant. You get some of that dark fruit, but at the same time you have some of that tangy acidity that plays through. So I would pair this with uh, a f probably a fatty short rib with some mashed potatoes and gravy. Something like that I think would work great with this Barbera. Mmm, this just smells so good, but I do love the taste more. Alright, finally. Move on to our last wine. So this is our 2017 Adagio Petit Verdot. Petit Verdot is a, I mean right away, look at that, that deep color. You can't see it from there, but this is so much darker than the uh, Barbera. So Petit Verdot is kind of known as that, uh, the backbone for any Bordeaux style blend. So it is the grape that, that adds some more depth, uh, adds some more body, and some more jammy flavors. So. What we decided to do was put 100% Petit Verdot in a bottle and see what we could do with it. Again, first thing, Petit Verdot, really dark, deep, bold color. I smell tons of fruit with a little bit of subtle smokiness. I mean, when you switch this in your mouth, it just overloads your palate with so much flavor. It's got such a good balance of fruit and acidity and a kind of a subtle, earthy cocoa element to it. I, get, I pick up lots of blackberry notes. It's got this silky smooth finish that I'm still tasting 15 seconds after. This is the kind of wine that, of course, it'll go well with any kind of red meat, but also I think it drinks so smooth and it's so delicious that drink it after dinner on your porch on a Friday night and just enjoy it on its own. This wine is killer and I cannot wait for you guys to try it. Thank you all again and uh, we look forward to seeing you at the vineyard soon. Cheers.